What's going on everyone? I am Jay the Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I want to talk about a article from mirror.co.uk. And it was about a former escort who's warning uh, people who are in relationships that their partners may be getting with other people during the lockout. Okay, now... Apparently, this particular female, her name is Samantha X, or she went by Samantha X. She was in the industry for six years. She was a high-end uh, escort, and she's telling all on a particular podcast. Now, this is what the article says. So the former escort has revealed the surprising signs to look out for, which may indicate your partner is getting with other people. And warn and warns is still going on during the lockout. Samantha X, a journalist and author, appeared on news.com.au's Not Here to Make Friends podcast and said despite the C V and restrictions around, affairs are still taking place. Of course they are. People can still if people can still leave the house uh, to go to the store or to uh, get food, uh, to get gas. As long as there are places where people can go, they can still have the opportunity. I mean, hotels are still open, okay? Uh, I believe parks are still open. There are still places you can go to meet people, you know? So it's not like everybody is just locked down. They can't do anything. And as we have seen recently, some of that doesn't even matter anymore. She said men still uh, get with other women during the lockout absolutely they will find a way it doesn't matter how busy or if he's always at work they find a way and she would know because you know she's gotten paid to be around these guys you make it happen even if it's just 10 minutes on the way home samantha said a big giveaway can be if your partner comes home with wet hair or looking different from when they left the house indicating They have had a shower or just changed elsewhere. That is very true, man. Uh, You can listen. A lot of affairs go on with coworkers. And especially if you have, I would say, an hour break, right? And you got someone that lives near the job. It's very easy for them to get with their coworkers. In that situation, they could, you know... Get undressed, do whatever, take a shower, get back in those clothes, maybe put on some extra whatever, and go back to where nothing happened. And then they could tell the people, well, they just went home and freshened up or whatever. But in that situation, the husband won't know. He won't know the difference. Now, if you're just leaving the house for 20, 30 minutes and you come back, uh, yeah, there are signs. But that is why you're seeing couples breaking up. You see a lot of couples breaking up during this quarantine because i think a lot of that is going on or these people were dealing with other people let's say at the workplace and because they don't have access to those people that they used to mess around with at the workplace it is causing a major riff in their marriages and that's why you're seeing the divorce rates uh go up similarly if your partner runs in and heads straight to the shower She says you should be asking what they are so keen to wash off. She also said a change in their behavior and overstating their views on uh, messing around can be a red flag. Y'all, you know what's crazy? (laughs) I've noticed, especially on social media, right? Any guy that's like gets a lot of attention from women on social media they will tell you that they deal with married women. They will tell you that you got married women who will be on social media or women in relationships, right? That will be on social media, making it seem like they're so happy and content in their relationships. You know, meanwhile, they're dealing with other people. They're dealing with other people while they're posting up pictures of their husbands and boyfriends and they're still in the DMs of other people. 
they're still going to meet other people. You know, it's almost like they're overcompensating in a way. They're overcompensating for the whatever it is that they're doing at that particular moment. You know? Okay. When they become very anti messing around, if someone suddenly becomes very sanctimonious and judgmental about people who do mess around, I think that's a good sign they're doing it themselves, she said. That's very interesting. I just stated that. Because you got people that will be all about being faithful and being there for your partner. But meanwhile, they are getting with other people. And again, this is what I have noticed in a lot of women. I notice you got a lot of women who will be there hugged up with their boyfriend or husband on social media. But meanwhile, they're having relations with other dudes, man, or other dude, you know, because sometimes they'll have a guy that they've been with since they've been with their husband or boyfriend. They had this one guy on the side they can always go to either because he's a shoulder to cry on or, you know, he's, you know, get some exercise with. <laughs> Samantha previously wrote a tongue in cheek piece where she revealed what a man's job says about their performance in bed after working as a high-end call girl for six years before quitting in 2017 she says she'll be able to tell a lot from what a man does for a living and uh, okay well honestly coming from her standpoint and the fact that she has probably dealt with tons of married men or men in relationships i think she would know those signs she's probably pillow talk with them before and she understands the psyche of people who are in these relationships, but they look for something outside of it. And I have said this, as long as you have a way to meet and talk to other people, there's going to be um, boundaries crossed. And those boundaries are getting crossed more and more. And there's also something from this article, right? That to me uh, was, was kind of making it seem as if only the majority of men. And I know that, the, that this particular female mainly deals with men, but I'm pretty sure that women talk to each other and women have these discussions about what they do because women tell their friends everything. You know, their friends are the holder of secrets. And the one thing that women don't do is go and tell men their secrets. You know, men will tell women all the secrets, but a lot of a lot of women will not tell the secrets of each other. They just won't. It's like an unwritten code in between them, you know. But there are a lot more women stepping out of the relationships than men. Case in point, you got the workplace situation. I, I spoke about that a little bit earlier. You got people in the workplace who are, you know, meeting, they're getting to know each other, they start confiding in each other, there may be some attraction there, and they mess around with each other. And it will go on because it's just something between them. It's like it's their secret. Even though I tell a lot of guys don't do it in the workplace because it's going to end up coming back to bite you, you know, especially if that female is scoring. Now, if it's a situation where she's married or something like you, you may not have to worry about that. But if she's single, OK, and you married or in a relationship. Yeah, that's going to come back to bite you, bro. Uh, but for the most part, this whole quarantine has kept women from having that workplace husband. There was even a viral video with this with this female, this sister and her workplace husband was a Caucasian guy. I wonder why that went viral. But anyway, that's that what goes on, man. Your wife has a workplace hubby who she probably is more attracted to than you. OK, <laughs> who she would want to be with more than you. But you don't know that. Also, I, I saw an article where there's a rise in dating at people downloading dating apps uh, during the quarantine. There's been a rise in, in people downloading dating apps and it's because you know you have a lot of people who would get attention when they're out and about when they're at the shopping malls when they're at restaurants maybe uh at work they would get you know attention but especially on the women's end 
they're not getting that fresh supply of attention daily if they can't go to certain places they're used to going so what they will do is they will go and they will download these apps and they will go and get their uh, attention from guys on there uh, you got women who may not have been on Facebook for years they're not they're now coming back to Facebook you know they're now you got women coming back to Instagram or Twitter to get the attention that they haven't been able to get because they've been stuck in the house you know so honestly we are in a different time man uh, it's going to be very difficult for couples coming out of this this quarantine also it's going to be very difficult to keep people in relationships that are monogamous there's going to be some stepping out there just is and i would hope people understand that because we are just in a this is just a different time man. it really is and this particular woman who's been in the industry, she probably understands that more than anybody. That's why she was able to thrive as being the other woman, high-end other woman, you know, the, the high-end other woman. And that, and that goes on a lot. That goes on a lot. Also, when you are together, like a lot of people have been during this lockdown, you have people who are losing attraction to each other because they're in the house. They were in the house together all the time, all day. They were in the house together, but now they're no longer. Uh, I say no longer in the house. Good. Well, they're slowly you're not house good, but while they were in the house together, the attraction was declining. Okay. Because you're around them more and more and more and more and more. And you just want to be around somebody else. That happens. It really does. You sort of forget why you were with them in the first place. You know, you kind of forget why you're with that person. You're not really attracted to them the same way. And that's what's going on out here. You know, but uh, make sure that y'all go and uh, check the article out. I'll put a link inside the description box. All right.